Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals. <clears throat> We're back in Minecraft. Uh, so this episode, I want to get my chicken farm going. Now, the major problem here is that my chicken farm requires um, quartz, nether quartz. Um, and so I had to go get me some obsidian. So I went and grabbed some obsidian real quick and then uh, put together a portal, a little portal area. It's going to change. I just didn't want to have to um, get too into it right now. So uh, it's a little, it's way basic and it's really crappy. But uh, for now, it's away from my house, which is one thing I wanted. Um, and it's enclosed. So. I should be good to go, so we're going to light this bad boy up and take our first steps through. I don't have anything on me that I really can't lose, so hopefully we're good. I really just need to go get like three or so pieces of nether quartz, so it shouldn't, you know, be too bad. So, um, where is it going to spawn me? Where am I at? I'm going to be dead. Sometimes I hate it when it. There it goes. It scares me when it does that because it's like, uh, where's it gonna put me? Where's it gonna put me? And then it just splats me wherever I'm at. And so, okay, so we need to find the closest and easiest to get quartz. Let's see, apparently there isn't any quartz around me. Easy to get that is. Looks like I'm up on a weird little ridge here. Let's see. Is it, like, am I really on a ridge, or... Okay, let's just, we're going to try to tunnel down here. Because I saw that quartz right um, down below, so... It's still going to be um, generating the nether, so it may be a little bit laggy at the beginning. Now you can see some actual block lag, which is kind of unique in single player here. Well, let's see. I, I gotta be below where the freaking mobs are. Oh, I can get down right here. Okay, beautiful. Let's grab some quartz and get out of here before I get into some trouble. Grab it, grab it, go! Later on I'm going to be doing a ton of farming for quartz because... Just because it's white and it's uh, a good building material. But that should get me... how many pieces? That's nine. Let's grab a couple more pieces from right here and then... We'll get all the stuff we need to build uh, my chicken farm, because I need a, a steady source of food that I don't have to touch, so I want to make this my um, standard chicken cooker, um, which should make it so that I can just let it sit there and not have to touch it. So, Anyways, I got the quartz I needed, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, bail back to the house, um, and then once I've collected everything I need to make the farm, I'll get right back with you guys, so see you in a little bit. Hello, hello everybody, welcome back. So basically all I did here is I cleared out a room. I wanted to make sure we had a pretty nice sized room um, cleared out so that I could put this farm in here. This farm does take up quite a bit of room, and so I wanted to make sure I had enough room. And I'm going to put a couple farms down here. For the time being, that's kind of what this room is going to be. Um, the first one I wanted to start with, because I'm I'm running out of food constantly, is I want to make sure I get a uh, chicken farm going. Chicken farms are, well, at least the farm that I build, has a very high production rate and really simple to build. Um, again, I did have to go get some quartz, but that was just to make a comparator. So, um, anyway, so we're going to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to put down is a chest. Like that, mm-hmm. 
Beautiful. So, then we need that bad boy going into the chest. Mm hmm. Yep. Working perfect already. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's put that on top of it. Mm, this is getting good. I didn't build actually one of the pieces, so my bad. We're going to need that. We're going to need to put down. Let's do this right now. Just that I can reach in there. Just so I can reach in there. We'll put a half slab right there. Beautiful. Okay, that works. Now, we're going to do this. Because I think that is the next step. Okay, I think that's the next step. So, what I actually need to do is build myself a bow. So, i got to make sure I have string. Um... I know I made sure to collect some, so, oh yeah, there we go, we got let's see, let's see if it'll let me sleep, nope, there are monsters nearby, no, okay, let's kill these guys, see if we can get them to come down in here into my trap, come on, nope, they're right above me, I think, too, let's see, nope, they don't want to go into my trap, so I built those just for the time being, just to get zombies um, trapped in my house. So they come in, they fall in here. I need to actually go one more deep, sorry. That's where I went wrong there. Did they get up on the house? Might have gotten up on the house. That's okay, we don't really need... Uh, we gotta kill this guy now. We do have to kill him now, but we should be good. We're gonna leave him alone. They can growl all they want. They're just annoying, so... Anyways. We need to build a bow so that we can build... Is it that? Is that what it is? Are those... Cobblestone? Yeah. Three dispenser, right? Yep. Okay. Beautiful. I should build a second one, but I don't have... I do have enough string, but I don't want to use it. And I'll show you why I might... I would want a second one, really. But, uh, just for now. Okay, so I think it goes like this. Dang it, I think that went wrong. Of course, the hopper grabs it. You need it to come like that. Yes. 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 I think that's how it goes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we want to next step go bloop bloop bloop. Bloop bloop bloop. Looks real nice, real nice like. Okay, I think we're going another glass here. Mm-hmm. Yep, looking good already. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. So we're going to get into the redstoning part of it. It's pretty simple. You're going to place a comparator going that way. A repeater going that way. And one going that way. Now, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. We I could be mistaken, but you know... Who cares? Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, nope, that's wrong. De loop. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna put a hoppa. I'm gonna put hoppa hoppa. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna put this up against the side here. Okay, so that should be right. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm gonna throw the larva in there on top of the half lab. We're gonna go boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm, looking good. I'm gonna put the carpet, 
carpet. Mm-hmm. Yes. What do we like? Carpet. Carpet, you see. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting goofy. Um, so now we're just going to close it in. Doot, doot, doot. So now what I've done here to expedite the process is I left this block open to the surface. Um, now what that allows us to do is auto, not auto fill, but uh, fill this in with chickens from the overworld. And that way, ow! That hurt. Anyways, that way we can get this going. So that's all for the building itself, for the building of it itself. So um, it's kind of easy, real, uh, well, kind of easy. It's really easy. It's very simple. It gets you the farm going without having any of the extra doodads and doohickish. No. Um, without any of that extra fuss. Now, what's this? what this is going to do is, like I said, we're going to put chickens, full-size chickens in the top. Close it off. And then what it does is these hoppers, any of the eggs they lay in the top, will dispense down to the hopper. The hopper then fires that boy off, which goes around. And anyways, it just, it basically says, it's a, it's a timer, right? So it ticks back around, boom, tells it to spit out that egg. Um, which is a good first step. Anyway, so that's basically the farm. So now I'm going to go get some chickens and push them in there and show you the final product here. So as you can see, I've got a baby chicken in the bottom. Mm -hmm. We've got chickens up there. We've got quite a few now. We've got around 10 or 11. And now the way I usually do it is I put enough chickens in there to where you can hear them when they pop an egg so I keep enough chickens in there to where I can hear it pop an egg every like almost every second because you want to make sure you're getting the most most eggs being popped down here because you don't have a 100% chance of creating a baby chicken so um, obviously so one thing I did do is I did disable this in order to get eggs um, you can disable this in order to get eggs, and then you can take them back up top. Here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And, oop, I did not mean to do that. Good thing I didn't hatch a chicken in my house. Anyway, so you can take them back up top here. And I made this little backdrop so that I can bait chickens in with my seeds, and then just push them in here, and they'll fall right into the top. Uh, or, like I said, you can disable the the rig and throw in these from the top and of course I won't get one baby anyway so once one does hatch down when you throw it it will just float to the bottom and when it grows up it'll start helping the others hatch baby baby chickens mm -hmm. and then you'll just have uh, you know you can keep that going for as long as you want again my guideline is basically a you know an egg pops every like two or three seconds max. I don't want to keep, you know, you don't want to do it too much because it can provide lag on the top and and they won't hatch very good. There's, and this is just a feeling I have from the game that there is like a, a running limit that uh, they put on it so that you don't just sit there and have 150 chickens hatching 150 eggs a second or whatever. Um, so I think they do like limit it how many chickens are laying eggs at once in one spot so again I don't have proof of that but that's just a feeling I get from actually playing and um, I've had one of these with a hundred almost a hundred chickens in it um, it was the only thing in the area and the entity count was about a hundred so um, anyways they were popping eggs every like every 10 seconds but I had that many egg chickens in there. I reduced the number of them. I opened up the top and just killed a whole bunch of them. Um, 
and it instantly started, you know, the lower I got it towards, I think I got it down to like 40, and it started popping every second. Um, but yeah, I'm done with this, so I'm just going to fill in the top. I'm not going to put any more chickens in here for now. I'm going to keep the shaft up here um, open so that I can if I decide to. But the, the rate at which they're popping right now is pretty darn good, so I'm going to leave it be. And, like I said, that's about all you need. You can also do another build, and you can you can put a lever right here um, that activates a switch that turns this off or on, so that it'd be in this block, actually. But yeah, it would be in this block, and then it would turn this on and off so that you can collect eggs the same exact way. Um, it would just turn this whole mechanism off so that the eggs just sit in the dispenser and don't ever fire out to here. And then you can do again the same thing. You can go up top, pop them in. You can use the dispenser method, which you put a dispenser right there, boop, boop, and then uh, fire them off from there, and then it hatches a whole bunch up there. But yeah, I've got enough chickens in there, and we're good to go. So that's the chicken farm, everybody. And uh, until next time, happy crafting, everybody. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, slap that thumbs up. If you didn't, slam the thumbs down. Comment on this video, you can tweet at me, you can also message me on Twitch, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. The links to those will be down in the description.